Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Evening News Bulletin on Tuesday. Olivier Chams moved to Marseille has caused manager André Villas-Boas to hand in his resignation, claiming he specifically did not want the Celtic man at the club. Now, Cham left the hoops late last night to join the French side, who have an option to buy him for £4.5 million in the summer. New Rangers signing Scott Wright said he expected an angry reaction from Aberdeen fans after his move to the Glasgow club. Wright signed a pre-contract for the summer, but his deal was brought forward to this month. There was obviously going to be a bit of backlash. I, I kind of expected that with the decision. Um, but as I said, it was, it was a decision I felt like I kind of had to make. And when I spoke to, to the management and the staff at Rangers, I, you know, I was really excited to be coming here and to be joining such a massive club. Hibernian travelled to the Inform St Moon this evening, aiming to leapfrog Aberdeen into third place. The Buddies are in the top half of the table for the first time this campaign, and they beat Celtic away from home at the weekend, something that impressed their former boss, Jack Ross. Well, I think the result of the weekend is um, a significant one in terms of um, the history of the club. If you look at not teams don't win regularly at Ibrox or Parkhead, and I think the, like, the number of years that have passed, since someone had done it. So that in itself is a, is a terrific achievement for Germany's players. Um, I think he's he's put together a squad that I think he really should be highly competitive in this league and I think they've shown that in the main this season. And managerless Kilmarnock hosts Celtic in tonight's 7.45 kickoff. Head of Football Operations James Fowler will take charge of the team along with assistant Andy Mitten and captain Gary Dicker. Here's what he makes the game. Obviously the Celtic are going through a little bit of a tough period just now. Uh, I think when you look at the players that we've got though, it's still uh, a very strong squad and a very strong group of, group of players that we'll be coming up against. Uh, but obviously we've, we've come off the back of a disappointment result ourselves on Saturday, so uh, we focused on us, uh, but we know there is an opportunity there if, if we play to our maximum. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels where you'll also be able to catch up with the football show with Peter and Ruffy. They'll discuss all today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.